Hello everybody, this is Simeonski again and today I'm gonna tell you how to move objects and to spawn in objects, so to speak, using some easy vector stuff. So it's not very complex, but it's uh, super easy and you can move objects or spawn them in or anything like that. I will just give you a good and easy example how to use that. So let's go. Spawning in objects with um, using some kind of simple vector stuff is basically not possible, but you can kind of spawn in your objects um, if you just tie them in some place that nobody can reach. Um, what is important to know about this? as a super easy setting, so let's uh, start easy. Let's start with the basics. Let's make an object first. And yeah, this is our object. Let's make it physical and grabbable. So here we go. And this is the object we want to spawn. Like, yeah, we want to spawn when you do something or when you push a button. Um, the first thing is you need to define the object in the right way. So the very important thing is two, two things here. You need to give it a tag. Let's call it cube. Here we go. It has a tag now. And the second thing you want to do to go all the way down and there is uh, an option that's normally turned off by default. It's called can modify with circles. This needs to be turned on. So this is all you need to do for the object you want to spawn. And now let's go to the spawning system. So I want to put a button again. And I want this object to spawn here next to the button. It's now there. Um, you can hide it somewhere that no one reaches it. So that would be kind of like you get a, a reward. Like you could do a quest, for example. And once you finish the quest, the person that gave the quest to you will give you something. That's basically the main, the main way I use this. So. We have another component that's called vector. And there it is, it's called vector component. We just put it here. So, and it's basically not doing much. <laughs> it's just an object that has a position, basically. So, how do we Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> so, first, we wanna wanna start with the position. And there's a lot of different position chips here, but we wanna have the Z position chip. And basically what the basically what the button does is just this set the position of this object to this spot. So that's all the button does. But we wanna um, we wanna know how do we get this object in there. We cannot just connect it. No. Nope. We have to find a chip that's called first with and there it is. Recroom object get first with tag. It's super long, but this is the one we want to use. And then we know this this is called cube. So we will put in cube here. And then basically connect this set position target. You can also add players here, but you can also add objects and other stuff. No, we, we don't know the position yet. 
So how do we get from this vector to get the position data? We could just connect this directly, but you already see this is a strange data. This will not work that way so easily. Now we have to put something in between that just, this is what you need to do. There is a get position chip. And you would need to put this in between. And then connect the vector from the top output. And then it will get the position from that vector. Otherwise it's zero, 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 which we don't want. Now it gets the position from exactly where this vector is. And you just connect it to the position over here. That's basically how easy it is. You press this button, your object lands here. Press this button, object is here. And yeah, if, if you're, for example, if you want to um, uh, kind of pretend that you get something and it's not just moving, just move it under the ground, for example, bam, then it's gone. And once you press the button, it will reappear at the right spot. You can see it's always appearing there now. Yeah, that's how you spawn an object in an easy way. And there's of course some other options that you can do with this here. For example, there's something you can put out a boolean once it's complete. This can trigger some other things or hinder some other things from happening. Yeah, and you can just do something else, of course, like once the position is set, you can trigger another event or anything. Yeah, sometimes I would use this to trigger an event, to check some values or something like this. But basically, it sets the position, gets the position from the vector component here has to use the get position chip to really get the position because the vector doesn't output the exact position. And then it sets it to the position over here. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. As always, like and subscribe and visit my extra room that I built to show off the things that you can do and to give you a little bit insight, especially when the circuits come up that you can just check out, make a selfie, post it, whatever. And uh, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.